भारत टेक्नोलॉजी और भारत की ओर से Biotech Startup Expo 2022 was launched with the theme Biotech Startup Innovations towards Atmanirbhar Bharat to commemorate the 10 year anniversary of the establishment of Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council or BIREC Prime Minister Narendra Modi along with Union Minister Dr Jitendra Singh Piyush Goyal and Dharmendra Pradhan attended this expo and PM inaugurated the Biotech Setup Expo 2022 at Pragati Maidan New Delhi with various new and interesting goods the exhibition has brought a lot to the table this year entrepreneurs investors industry leaders scientists researchers bio incubators manufacturers and others gathered at an expo There were about 300 stalls demonstrating biotechnology applications in healthcare, genomics, biopharma, agriculture, industrial biotechnology, waste to value and renewable energy among other areas. Rainstay's innovation has also been selected for product launch during the inaugural event as part 75 products during 75th year of independence. Barak is inculcating spirit of biotech entrepreneurship across country. Powered by India, we are using Indian Indian networks generics only, like money marketing and market access. But this is in partnership with Barak, so we have government support for angel investment. So we have developed this technology. This kind of business model is very unique. It's that you set me up as a business model. We are not a planter making company. We are a waste management company as well. We are a health and wellness company as well. We are not a gamla seller. If I am selling gamla, I will be sitting in Sadar Bazaar, not at this prestigious place. So, yes, sir. Currently, we have a GMP approved facility for the trial, and we have obtained the test license and clinical trial approval uh, with the existing. Yeah. Uh, since you said that uh, there is a release of micronutrients, and uh, copper also acts as a antimicrobial. So, if both are there, that means there is a leaching. And once it is a leaching, leaching of nano materials into a uh, solution, and we are drinking, that causes a health hazard. So these are both contradictory statements. Absolutely, absolutely, a um, very valid question. Uh, so what we have done is we have engineered the leaching in copper in such a way that it does not cross the threshold limit. When we are saying leaching, the nano particles do not leach; only the ions leach into water, which are mainly soluble in water. And it is the ions which are actually you are drinking, and this uh, the level of leaching has been engineered so that you do not actually drink high amounts of copper. It is again not beneficial for health. So there is a certain permissible limit, and there is a certain nutrition limit. So we have restricted to those only. But the, the bigger challenge is this: the leaching only affects the copper bottle rather than the water inside it. So if it is inside the water, 
then basically it is the bag water becomes uh, having antimicrobial properties. If we digest that water, then the problem arises that the good bacteria inside the gut is going to be affected. So there is a challenge. Again, a very valid question. Let me clarify that one. So uh, for antimicrobial in addition, the expo featured the unveiling of an e-portal featuring 750 biotech items made during the country's 75th anniversary as well as a coffee book featuring 75 women biotech entrepreneurs. As our Honorable uh, Prime Minister inaugurated this two-day event yesterday and today is the second day of this expo. Independent charge, Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji. Dignitaries from DPIIT, team from Pristine Care, I don't know if there are somebody else who you have, but uh, sure the team is bigger than one individual in all companies. Dr. Alka Sharma, MD Bayrak, directors of DBT institutions, startup and entrepreneurs who are all real stars here, invited dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me congratulate you all who have decided to continue this journey of biotech sector actually. I mean, this is the most happening place in the world. So we are used to tremendous amount of energy. And now we are the energy is uh, you know, slightly down here. So why don't you guys give me some energy and we know we are here. So one, two, three, let's go shout! Now we know something is going on, right? We are, used to, we are just used to people being hustling, working super, super hard. Right? Sheer hard work. You know, by the way, uh, I'm here to talk about uh, unicorn uh, and startup, but technically, unicorns don't exist. It's a very notional concept. Unicorn exists not Everybody to try here. So one of the challenge for startups in the biotech space is to survive and scale and be successful. To become and emerge as a unicorn. Human workers, they have they have bounced back with vengeance. I hope it sounds quite flattering. <laughs> no, I, 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 that's a good trait. They have bounced back with vengeance to prove themselves. Yes. Therefore, I would say rather, I would go one step further to compliment and say that earlier we were initiating schemes like, what is that, winner? Winner? What is that scheme here? What is biotech? Winner? Specifically devoted to encourage them, to promote them. Now you don't have to do so. They are themselves hijacking your schemes. <laughs> so, from women specific projects, we have actually graduated to women led projects. So, in a single sentence, I think that is the crux of the matter. There's a theme of the so far, Bayrak has supported over 250 entrepreneurs and out of that the journey of 75 successful women entrepreneurs has been encapsulated in this publication, which is being now released by the Honorable Minister. We would like to congratulate them and expect that these leaders should become the flag bearers and inspiration for others. want to do summer internships but worry about in the summer to go out I can totally understand but do not worry about anything because NSTC's Nano School has brought online summer training programs and project trainings for all the fields of BTEC like computer science, mechanical, electrical and electronics and so on so without much ado do register yourself today and visit www.nanoschool.in